Dear brothers and sisters in Christ in Bolivia, greetings from Birmingham Cathedral. My name is Guy and I have been a church leader in various parts over the UK for 20 years and now work across the church in serving churches becoming more focused on discipleship and missional leadership. I had the privilege of meeting Bishop Walter and Adelita here last summer and I'm sorry I can't be with you for this exciting conference on discipleship. I am of course aware that our contexts are different and I'm speaking to people and places I don't know. So forgive me if what I say seems obvious or not helpful in any way. I will just offer a few thoughts about what we're learning here and what we're trying to put into practice when it comes to discipleship. Firstly, where do we start with the task that God gave us? I don't believe that we start with growing the church. God grows his church, which is a relief to me. In a real way, we do not start by trying to do God's mission for him. God is the one who is working in the world. We get to join in with him by his Holy Spirit. Where I believe Jesus calls us to start is with making disciples. This is the Great Commission. If we focus on making disciples, the result is mission. Disciples pray, disciples evangelize, disciples seek God's kingdom, disciples lead. If we try to grow the church but fail to make disciples, eventually the church will disappear. But if we focus on making disciples first, we will see a multiplication of God's work and the growth of the church. And yet, I know the pressures on priests. There can be so much to do just to keep our churches functioning. Sometimes it is so hard to do what Jesus did, to focus on making disciples who will then make other disciples. So even though I have always had many things to do, God has been teaching me to put disciple making at the front and center of my ministry. I just want to share three questions with you which I found helpful in my own ministry and which I try to offer to people here. Question one. The main question for every church community is, what is our plan for discipleship and is it working? Things work better if we have a plan. What is your plan as a church for calling people to discipleship? For growing them as disciples, for sending them out to make disciples? Question two, how do we understand discipleship? if we have a common language and understanding that reflects our community. There are different ways of describing discipleship and that is fine. But language creates culture, so helping our people to have an easily understood definition helps us to move forward. Here are the thoughts of a few local Christians about discipleship. Well, for me, I think discipleship, first of all, is probably quite a Christian word that we use. You know, quite a few of my friends will probably say to me, what, what do you actually mean by discipleship? So the way I like to think of it is being an apprenticeship of Jesus, um, learning after the master, doing what he does, doing what he did. So I'm trying to make my life a bit more like his life in, in as many areas as I can. A conscious effort to learn the ways of Jesus. So the process, the processes I take to become more like Jesus. I think being a disciple is ultimately following after God. It's us having people ahead of us on the journey who are pouring into us, people who are alongside us, we're running together, people behind us who we're pouring into and we're encouraging, and ultimately all of us just running after Jesus together. I think there's, um, there's a lot of people that might acknowledge Jesus uh, as someone who is a good man, uh, maybe someone who had a, a sound line of ethical teaching or good morals. 
Um, but I think as a Christian and as a disciple of Christ, uh, we're called not just to be fans of Jesus, but to be followers of Jesus. Here is a way I like to describe discipleship that I think can work across different traditions. The heart of discipleship is surrendering to God, helping people to place him at the center of their lives. The daily attitude of discipleship is paying attention to God and responding to what he is saying. Imagine if everyone in your church was listening to God's voice and simply learning to be obedient to what he says. The lifestyle of discipleship is apprenticeship. We are called to be people who are walking with Christ. As we do that, we become more like him in our characters and ultimately we join in with his work in the world. Question three, as a leader, how am I growing as a disciple and who is helping me? Every week of my life, I share in an accountable conversation with a friend. He helps me reflect on my prayer, my self-control, my love for God, and my mission. Every month, I meet with others, and we specifically help one another to pay attention to what God is saying and to respond to him. Sometimes we think about our characters as Christians. Sometimes we think about our skills as priests and sometimes our own situations and where God is at work in them. I know that every leader is first of all a follower. We will only be instinctively helping others to grow as disciples if we are experiencing that ourselves. Discipleship is caught rather than taught. May you have a very fruitful conference. May God help you to be and grow disciples as your main calling. May he give you a sense of a plan going forward, language to help your people grow, and lifelong relationships that help you to grow in your first calling to be a follower of Christ, to be a disciple.